Absolutely. I mean, that's the really wonderful thing about this, uh, both the cast and uh, the crew and myself directly. We've been receiving messages or from people who've told us that they had a very different belief system until they watched our film and it just cracked open their thinking. Uh, direct messages being sent to us all the time. I'm sure there are people who are also critical about our film and that's fine because the whole point of art as it intersects with the world that we live in is for us to have conversations and to talk about this and to evolve our views on all sides. So we welcome the conversation and we welcome changing hearts and minds if that's possible to do so, just because it's so important as a human rights issue more than anything else. And of course, for us here on this side of the pond, um, you know, in particular, it does seem like um, the US is a bit of, I don't know if I could call it an outlier on, on abortion. You live in California and you're British. You have in the middle of a US election taking place. Trump uh, believes his party, he, he had something to do with overturning Roe v. Wade. How worried are women that you've been speaking to of a possible Trump presidency and what that can mean for women's reproductive rights? Very concerned. You know, I do think the 2016 election, uh, this was a huge issue then in terms of the Supreme Court justices that needed to get appointed in the aftermath of that presidency and single voter issues who voted in against women's rights, to be honest. And so uh, a new threat in that regard in 2024 uh, is just very prevalent and very prominent in everyone's minds of how much more uh, this could go across all states in terms of a complete abortion ban. We did not think, many of us, some of us did, that Roe v. Wade would uh, get overturned. But I think living in the land of the free, uh, regardless of my British accent, I'm here, I'm an American citizen, I'm raising two daughters, if this can happen in the land of the free, it can happen anywhere. While we welcome it being enshrined in other parts of the law, we felt like it was enshrined here in America until it got overturned in 2022. So there is never a time when we don't have to worry about bodily autonomy or reproductive rights, whether it's in America or whether it's across the world.